As painful as his burns might be, David Melgar knows how lucky he is to be alive. He, his wife and father-in-law were at home the moment Guatemala's Fuego volcano erupted. David and his wife managed to escape, but the memories of that day will haunt them forever. Hot ash was falling inside our house and we went running out. My father-in-law was swept away. The ash was boiling, mud mixed with fire. People were running and the hot ash came down on top of them, killing them. People were trapped inside their houses and couldn't escape. They were cooked inside. Six children with severe burns were airlifted to the United States, where a pediatric burn center offers state-of-the-art treatment not available in Guatemala. Officials say they warned the public after sensors picked up an increase in volcanic activity hours before the eruption. All of the communities received warnings and obviously we don't have the authority to order an evacuation. We make recommendations and it's the residents who decide whether to evacuate or not. But residents who escaped the gases and volcanic mud said that only those close to the highway heard the warning. If we would have received a warning, we would have left our house earlier, and many people's lives would have been saved. I don't know about the others, but they didn't warn us. We didn't know about the eruption until the lava was coming down. The Fuego volcano erupted again on Friday, expelling large quantities of pyroclastic material and ash. Nearby homes were evacuated, authorities hoping to avoid another disaster.